Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you, the viewer. Today's reading will be taking a look at what is blocking the connection between you and your person on your mind. What is getting in the way? What's interfering? Is there a third party energy? Um, or what exactly is um, preventing the connection from moving forward? All right, so Take a look at these three options to choose from and whichever one you're drawn to, you can select in the timestamp or the pinned comment below and it'll take you directly to your um, pick. So for pile one here, we have this purple cross. For pile number two, we have this brass key. And for pile number three, we have this yellow bird. Okay, so pause the video, pick your option, and then I will see you at your timestamp. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you pick this purple cross, then pile number one, this will be your reading. All right, so we're going to take a look at what is blocking this connection, what's getting in the way, is there third party interference, and see what's going on. Okay, so... We'll look into the connection at first and then we'll pull some tarot to get some details. Now, I pre-shuffled or I guess picked the oracles, haven't looked at them, but we'll pull the tarot together um, just to save time. So we have, um, yeah, let's take a look at your connection and what's getting in the way. All right, so we have the ocean, the number 35 or the number eight. We have the golden rose. Wow. We have pioneer, light attribute, passion for doing and creating what has not been done before, and the shadow attribute, compulsive need to keep moving on. And we have I am open to love in various forms. Got Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide with the number 10. We got Exposed with the number 17 or the number 8. We got this Oracle card, the Archer. And we got this Oracle card, which says wish. All right. So let me just move these over. I feel like this is a really very um, deep soulful connection. I feel like there is a... Um, adeptness to this person okay so you can flip this if this is more about you than your person but i feel like this is picking up your person's energy okay so i feel like there's a depthness to your person that i don't think you've experienced before and i feel like you never really know what to expect with this person or at least you feel like you can never really understand this person um and i feel like you're wanting to get to know all of them and I feel like the more you're trying to get to know them the more distant you feel from them I feel like this person hasn't really opened up or at least you feel as though you haven't really got to understand uh, the depths of who they are and I feel like you're discouraged because I feel like potentially you've been very open like an open book and I feel like you feel like maybe it's one-sided or like this person is holding back I also feel like any attempts that you kind of make you feel thrown off because your person is either seeming standoffish or just there's more to this person that you feel they're either holding back 
and you're trying to really um yeah peg them down is what i heard i feel like your person's a real uh, interesting person for sure but i feel like they are like a free spirit and i feel like this person is giving off the not wanting to settle down vibe is what i'm getting from this person okay and i also feel like this person is really unpredictable with their moods so we had asked what's kind of getting in the way and i feel what's getting in the way here so far we haven't done the tarot is the fact that i feel like you guys might be expecting or wanting two different things in this connection i don't feel like your person has any expectations in this connection i feel like your person is really going with the flow of where this is leading and has a trust in this connection and i feel like both of you guys are really um drawn to each other um i feel like you are in a sense really uh, intense and i feel like now you okay now flip this because this could certainly be what your person's doing to you if there's a blockage here okay but i'm just picking this up as your energy you're now so on a mission to accomplish getting to know this person for whatever um come hell or high water of attaining an understanding of who this person is and i feel like the connection as a whole might be um suffering as a result of this okay I feel like your person isn't trying to hold anything back. I also feel like your person is, again, just a free spirit and very, there's a lot of depth to your person. Um, I feel like the fact that you can't really get a, um, a solid commitment or a very clearly defined understanding of what this person wants or expects is causing challenge and i feel like there's also a side of you that feels almost like you like it's unbalanced because you were able to share your own depths of who you are and what you stand for and what you believe in and openly provide this person with clarity and I don't feel like this person has been able to do that back to you. I also feel like this connection is potentially coming to a pivotal point where I feel as though there will be a transition here with this number 10. And I feel like there has to be a change right now in this connection because I feel like this energy, although it is fluid, or at least it can't be pinned down and your person's fairly fluid. I feel like there's a stagnancy because there isn't a movement in this connection. The, the movement that's in the connection is almost like um, turbulent uh, ups and downs, but overall on a timeline, I guess this connection has been fairly stagnant. I feel like you're wanting things to progress or at least you're wanting a full understanding. And I feel like that feeling of um more being focused on the outcome of your mission um has overtaken maybe um a heavier weight in this connection than your feelings for this person and now i feel like you may be questioning your feelings for this person because this person has been um not flaky, but not very committal and also not really providing you with the same level of energy as you've been providing for them. So I think you've been more narrow. I think you've been more direct. I feel like you've been more targeted in your approach with this person. I think that you at one point potentially had different expectations of this connection as a whole. 
I feel like you feel there is a side of your person that is being um, held back from you and it's the cause of, I guess, turbulence in this connection. Okay, so interesting. Let's pull some tarot. If that sounds like either you or your person, I just kind of put everything out here. I didn't really do like a you versus your person, but I feel like somebody here is this like free spirited soulful person who is having um a difficult time potentially um exposing or releasing their true depths of themselves whereas one person seems to be kind of more um open and targeted in their approach to where this connection is going and I feel like, yeah, there's two different expectations or two different paths here. And this is kind of what's getting or what's blocking this connection from moving forward. Okay. So, I mean, one person, obviously, it seems a little more turbulent. So, um, yeah, I feel like the no movement is really caused by this turbulency. Okay. So we'll ask Spirit for clear and concise message regarding pile number one and what's blocking this connection. If there's any third party interference or what exactly is blocking this connection from progressing spirit thank you so much for a clear and concise message and thank you very much pile number one for allowing me to tap into your energy and your person's energy and any energies that are interfering now when i say third party it doesn't necessarily have to be another person certainly be any energies that your person is involved with be it work, be it friends, be it romantic person, be it um, whatever it may be. Okay, so we got the Emperor, we got the Ace of Cups. I'm not reading any reversals, but we'll pick up anything that feels like it needs to be blocked or reversed. The stars. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we got the Emperor, we got the Ace of Cups, we got the Stars, we got the Ten of Cups, we got the Knight of Swords. Okay, why is the Emperor here, Spirit? We got the King of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? We got Temperance. Why is the Stars here, Spirit? I got the Two of Wands. Why is the Ten of Cups your spirit? We got the Sun. Okay, and why is the Knight of Swords here? We got the Page of Swords. Hmm. Okay, can I get clarity? I'm going to get clarity around the Knight of Swords. Judgment. Get clarity around the Page of Swords. So Queen of Swords. I get clarity around the Two of Wands. I got the Hangman and the Three of Cups. Okay. And clarity around the Stars. Is the ace of pentacles okay i'm just gonna move this and one more card sorry guys i'm just getting a full picture here before i i am lost in this reading as i'm not telling you what's going on here okay why well, do we have an emperor and a king of cups what's going on with this emperor and king of cups two of pentacles okay and strength so what's going on in this connection I will tell you, your person is absolutely in love with you, okay? Um, now, again, whether this is your energy, you're going to have to decipher this because this is the person who was this, um, I feel like this is the ocean person, okay? The person who is this depth, who is very free-spirited. I feel like this person is very much in love with the person who is very direct, okay? I feel like what's happening here is that your person um, is battling 
how they can manage how they feel, which is a deep level of love, and their emperor, which is um, someone who is a little bit more um, strict with order and not one that's going to be overtaken by feelings and let their feelings kind of control them. So I feel like there is this balancing act, this juggling of not expressing emotions or at least not uh, feeling emotions in a deep way. I feel like your person is looking at how they can balance things out here, but I feel what's happening is there is this Ace of Cups, which talks about self-love and also wanting to start an emotional new beginning. I feel like your person is looking at what it's going to take to kind of balance the scales out. And Temperance can also talk about healing. So I feel like your person is challenged with balancing emotions and allowing themselves to feel emotions so there's this need or this understanding of healing self and self-love and self-work in order to know um what's healthy when it comes to expressing emotions and feeling emotions okay i guess i'm not really showing expressions but i just feel like your person is balancing even how to feel emotions or these feelings that they have between i guess the suit they wear which is this emperor and i mean the emperor is a could be a positive or a negative card but in this case i feel this emperor side um reflects your person's tough exterior um and i feel like your person's tough exterior is what they've known themselves to be so now there's this king of cups that's showing up in their personality and they're trying to balance what that looks like for themselves okay now we did see the stars which is like um i feel this is what your person's desires and wishes are here in this connection uh clarified with the ace of pentacles so i feel like your person really wants to ground things in an emotional new beginning and in a grounded way okay so planting the seed of progressing this connection and i feel like this has been um what they've been contemplating on is like what is their desire how do they want to move forward what are their wishes and their dreams and you know looking at the future as far as what does this ace of pentacles looks like and planting this um seed of you know moving things forward so in this contemplation we get the hangman right because there's a heavy contemplation with the two of wands which is always uh giving me the person who isn't quite sure which way to go um and your person is kind of in this state of limbo so this is uh, reflective of why you feel there is this stagnancy or a block in this connection because your person's kind of sitting here in this hangman position which is a state of limbo not really making a move forward because they're contemplating what their desire is and how they can ground their desire okay and the hangman clarified by this three of cups i feel like for those of you guys that might be in a period of no contact your person is contemplating what a reconciliation looks like in order to move things forward in this connection and if you are with your person and this three of cups is showing up i do not feel as though this is a um that they're involved with the third party but what i feel is this person is uh looking at their way of life and their how they socialize with their friends what they experience today and this contemplation is looking at you know am i wanting to move forward grounding this connection and what exactly does that mean for what i have going on here in my in my friend group right like hanging out with friends celebrations and um you know chilling with your friends kind of thing so your person's in this contemplative state but what i see here is there's absolute clarity here in your person seeing this ten of cups in this connection okay so this is why i said i feel your person absolutely loves you with the king of cups and with this ten of cups this is ultimate emotional fulfillment and the joy is the most abundant card here in the tarot as far as joy contentment happiness and the sun is clarifying this ten of cups so there's no question your person's very clear in this ten of cups and what that means in this connection with you okay so now your person is being called to act in a way that with this judgment card i think this is an awakening 
of um, them being faced with having to face challenges in this connection. And with the Knight of Swords, the Knight is quick moving and is able to face any sort of challenges. And I feel like your person's identifying, you know, where's their challenge here and how they're going to fight through this challenge. The Strength card on the bottom of the deck talks about um, the undertone of this, can, uh, of this reading here, which is um, somebody who is trying to, you know, gather themselves in such a way that they're able to pull through and fight through what it takes to, um, to figure things out and pull through a tough situation. Um, the fact that we have this Page of Swords as well, okay, because we have the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, uh, clarified by this Queen of Swords, I feel like you have potentially put a boundary up or a very honest communication with your person. I feel like your person, one, wants to have an honest communication with you, okay, about what this looks like. And I think your person is potentially still figuring out what that looks like because they need to know what's going to balance this out. And they're still like, this is a balance card with the Two of Pentacles. Temperance is talking about balancing here. The Two of Wands is talking about balancing here. So I feel like your person's having a tough time balancing their emotions and how they want to move forward. But I feel like this is like wishes coming true and the wish wanting to really um, find a way to ground this connection and have a new beginning. Okay. But how do they talk to you about it with this? With this page, uh, page of swords, I feel like them coming as this page and you being this queen of swords, I feel like maybe there's a conversation that needs to happen here and your person doesn't feel, um, yeah, your person feels they can't go in as this page to face this queen of swords because you'll probably chew them up and spit them out. So they're going to have to at least come in like this knight, right? But I mean, even the knight can't face this queen of swords. So they're having this judgment. It's like, well, there's awakening as to if I need to step in and use my strength to go from a page to a knight to have this conversation to face this challenge, because I have a feeling your person feels as though there's a challenge coming forward towards you to express this type of stuff. So either they've already been faced with this boundary, or you've already given them this, um, this conversation um, and maybe they in the past missed the boat or maybe in the past they weren't able to step up so now they're looking at how do I have this conversation how do I move forward they're having this realization they're having to use their strength in figuring out what this looks like and I feel like they don't want to step forward in this page energy okay but this is a communication card so I feel like your person is wanting communication Okay, and they're wanting to face the challenge of what that means in order to get their Ten of Cups. So, we got the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, and the Nine of Pentacles talks about somebody who is um, solid on their own, who is uh, capable of um, being independently successful, but it also can talk about being... Um, single okay when i read it i read nine of pentacles is kind of like the single card and maybe somebody who potentially you know is wanting um to stand in their own power and be single and i feel like right now um maybe what your person is looking at here with this hangman is like they they're single so they're able to you know enjoy this three of cups and they're contemplating what that looks like or what that would look like for the future. It's like if I move forward with this Ace of Pentacles, what would my future look like here, you know, with uh, what I have going on here and me being single in my singlehood and standing in my own power. Um, but I think your person is being hit here with this judgment where they're having to move forward in a challenging way in order to get things back on. Because I did feel like there was a stagnant energy here, okay? Um, so let's pull another row and see what we see. All right, Spirit, thank you for that clear and concise message for pile number one in their person. What's going to happen from there? Can you give us some more information in regards to pile number one's connection with their person? What else is getting in the way of this connection? 
So I, yeah, to answer the question, I mean, the title of this video is going to be like the blocks in this connection or what's getting in the way. And I feel like your person's getting in the way of this connection because they've been in their hangman energy and trying to balance their feelings out. So now we have the seven of swords, hangman energy again. Yeah, this is what's getting in the way. Your person's behavior is what's getting in the way here. This connection not moving forward of the Ten of Cups, getting in the way of the Ten of Cups. Okay, even though your person knows that this connection is a Ten of Cups, they're not really, yeah, they're going to have to make an offer here and, yeah, Emperor. Okay, so we'll just clarify these even though this is the exact same message. What's going on here with the Seven of Swords spirit? We got the Ten of Wands. Why is the Hangman here? <laughs> the king of cups thank you spirit why is the ten of cups here spirit i got the eight of pentacles okay and then why is the ace of pentacles here got the seven of cups why is the emperor here uh, got the five of pentacles okay and then bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups okay so knight of cups is absolutely love okay i feel like your person loves you this is confirmation again the energy that i'm picking up here um love here love here there's deep emotions absolutely deep emotions okay so if you question that um yeah you don't have to question that so i feel like maybe what you can do because i was seeing your energy as this like more of this pointed energy kind of trying to pin down this person who is very much open to freely expressing themselves and maybe this was like a um i don't know i just feel like maybe your person rubbed you in such a way that you felt like it was personal but i feel like there's nothing that your person has personally against you um but let's get back to this tarot reading okay so this is talking about clearly your person's being self-serving in some sort of way or at least you feel like they've been self-serving because they've been holding back their emotions and not being able to express themselves we even see here with the king of cups again coming up your person has emotions for you that they're not quite showing and they understand that there's um there are feelings that they have to do something with okay they're overburdened with this ten of wands in managing what this looks like i mean they've been self-serving in such a way because they haven't been fully allowing their feelings to come out it's this heaviness and they know that they've been challenged in this connection and potentially they know why this has been stalling out okay this ten of cups just repeats the fact that you your person can have this ultimate uh, ten of cups with you, which is ultimate fulfillment in this connection. I think you bring them ultimate fulfillment, but I also feel as though your person understands this connection could be both of you guys coming together and emotionally filling each other's cups, okay? Eight of Pentacles talks about putting in that effort, putting in that dedication and, you know, time, dedication, and energy towards making things happen. And I feel like your person wants this ten of cups and they want to be um dedicated to making this happen and in order to do so they're gonna have to ground this connection and it starts with this ace of pentacles okay because they're not just gonna get start with this eight they're gonna have to start with a, an ace of pentacles and i feel like they're still in this hangman energy because they're trying to figure out what it is that is going to really ground this connection. So maybe they feel like their hands are tied. How do they move forward? Maybe with the stars there, we were seeing distance, okay? Maybe geographically they feel distant from you. Maybe they're not quite sure what the game plan looks like. And this, to me, talks a lot about not being sure, okay? And I feel like what they're not being sure about is how are they going to ground this connection. The Seven of Cups talks about multiple options, also talks about fantasy daydreams i feel like your person is um yeah really like fantasizing everything this connection can be but it's also giving them clouded judgment as far as what is it going to take to move forward with this ace of pentacles okay and the emperor's coming out again with the knight king of cups that we were seeing in the first spread there because i think your person really encompasses this emperor okay this divine masculine energy. I feel it's somebody who is in charge of themselves. We were saying that nine of pentacles and is very much in control of who they are and they don't really allow emotions to make decisions for them. They're very structured in their own energy, okay? I don't think they feel comfortable um, allowing things such as kings of cups coming up in their energy or having to move forward with this knight of 
Cups. I also feel as though because the Emperor is loud and proud. And in order for them to move forward with this Ace of Pentacles, it has to be an offer worth giving. And I don't feel like you're a person. Although they're encompassing this Emperor, they're also encompassing this Five of Pentacles, which is a feeling that they don't have what it takes to offer anything here. Five of Pentacles is lack, okay? So maybe they feel like they're lacking financially. Maybe they feel they're lacking in their structure to make an offer to give to you because we were seeing that's two of wands for the future it's like well what exactly are they offering here you know is it substantial is it worthy of something it, do they just want to step forward and give you emotions you know and i have a feeling that your person isn't comfortable just giving emotions and talking about their emotions and wanting this ten of cups i feel like what your emperor person wants to do is do more physical stuff like ground the connection work diligently on building a foundation in a future and i feel like your person's burdened by being stuck in the energy of non-progression also feeling burdened by being stuck in only being potentially able to offer emotions like that's not really moving the direction of this connection so the fact that they're five of pentacles is holding them back as well because it's like how what can I offer here if they feel they don't have anything that they're able to offer okay uh yeah we're seeing the nine of pentacles again I feel like your person is could very well be working on standing in their own um independent self so that if they're nine of pentacles are able to offer this ace and you know work diligently on this connection but they feel right now maybe they're a five and they can't quite get to this nine within themselves. Okay, and the nine, like I said, is somebody who's already built their foundation. They're stable on their own. And then they may feel as though coming forward with this Knight of Cups will allow them to start a new beginning in grounding this connection. Death. Yeah. There is definitely a need for them to transition out of the headspace of a five of pentacles or feeling like they have to act here. They can't be in the state of limbo. Um, and I do feel as though this uh, ten of cups is um, the potential of what they see this connection providing to them. Okay, but I don't think emotions are enough for this person to want to move forward. So let's just pull some oracles and then we can close this out. So Spirit, thank you so much for that clear and concise message. Can we get some energies here in regards to how is the person for pile number one feeling confidence? Okay. Let's keep going. Movement. <laughs> Faith. Love. Lots of love here for sure. And hunger okay so what i'm getting from your person's energy is i feel like your person's never really doubted this connection okay but i feel like what's happened right now is your person knows that they can't stay in this hangman and this um seven of swords and not moving forward and i feel like they understand there needs to be movements that this connection has been potentially stagnant okay so there's an understanding here there's an understanding that there needs to be movement i feel like your person does trust that this connection is um, a very deep connection and they have an understanding that, I mean, this eight of pentacles and this ten of cups is absolutely beautiful because they know if they were to put in this energy and effort um, that you guys would be able to share this ten of cups, which is, uh, again, this knowing that they're able to um do this at some point in time and it would result in happiness okay because there's this deep love here we're seeing love again like i said king of cups and all these cups so i feel like your person loves uh loves you for sure now what i feel like your person is being kind of um battled with because we're seeing that's two of pentacles and we're seeing the temperance is really their desire with this hunger their desire to get out of this five of pentacles okay and allow themselves to offer this ace of pentacles but in order to do that they're really going to have to work on um building themselves up in this nine of pentacles energy so that they're able to provide you with this eight of pentacles and um i feel like their ego could potentially be positioning them in a way that they feel they're five of pentacles like they don't have enough or some part of their ego as the emperor is driving their action 
okay but i feel like they are driven here with the movement and the hunger i feel like they're really driven uh driven by love driven by what they know could be potential here um to have a shake up wake up i mean we're seeing that judgment card so for sure i feel like your person understands that uh whatever is blocking this connection is gonna have to get a shake up wake up so yeah um i'm wondering if you were queen of swords and have had that conversation or at least have been um honest with your person or even potentially put a boundary around them i feel they have this uh clear understanding in this message i also feel like they feel this connection is destined here with the faith and this is why they're potentially confident in things unfolding the way they are which might be a little frustrating for you but that's kind of what i'm getting by this confidence and this movement and this faith and yeah all right so i hope this helped um this was an interesting reading uh, if you're drawn to any of the other two piles, feel free to join us there. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye, guys. Hello, my beautiful pile number two. If you pick this brass key right here, then pile number two, this is your reading. All right, we're going to be taking a look at what is blocking this connection? What's getting in the way? Um, is there a third party, third party energy? It doesn't have to necessarily be another romantic person involved, but what sort of energies might be getting in the way or where's this connection stalling out? So I pre-shuffle these oracles just to save time. I've not looked at them. We'll pull some tarot as well, but this is kind of blended energies as to what's going on in this connection. So you might be resonating with this sounding more like you or your person, but we'll get into it. Okay, so we have this Oracle card here with this Mass Heal. All right. We have the Crone. We have Lightning. And we have Virgin. Light attribute, maintaining symbolic purity of the of heart and spirit, and the shadow attribute, fear of intimate union. We have, I give offerings that are genuine. We have, be spirit, sweet results await, with the number seven. We have the number 13 here, and the number 13 here as well, okay? We have perspective with the number 35 or the number eight. And we have here shape change. All right, that's cool. Okay, actually I'm going to, yes, put that there. Okay, so I feel like in this connection, what's going on, is that there is one person here who is very much um, experienced when it comes to connections, okay? And I feel like there's one person here who might be trying to keep up with the other person, okay? But I feel like both people are absolutely in love with each other. And I feel like... Um, I feel like one person is... Um, calm person okay so I don't know how you can relate but there's someone who's very calm who's very um secure in this connection or at least feels as though this connection is fairly secure uh but then there's one person who feels like they have to keep up and I feel like the person who feels like they have to keep up they feel like um it's exciting but at the same time it's really scary for this person because they're not sure if they can keep up okay and the person who's not sure if they can keep up they know that if they are to dedicate themselves and keep at this connection that there'd be um something worth fighting for and i feel like your person okay now i'm saying your person i don't know which energy you're resonating with okay but the person who is trying to keep up here i feel like um is absolutely a beautiful, gentle soul. But I feel like this person is really trying to try whatever is going to please the other person. Um, but it is coming from a genuine place. And I feel like they feel they have love to offer, but they also are trying to um, change how they approach 
the experienced person in this connection because they feel as though they don't want to be seen as less experienced or like they're not contributing in such a way to this connection or they feel like they have to catch up in some sort of way okay and i feel like the person who again the experienced person or whatever i just feel like this person is really solid in this connection and has been kind of guiding this connection and steering this connection i also feel like this person is um unaware of how much the other person is trying to keep up in this connection i feel like um yeah there's an imbalance in experience in relationships and I feel like one person is getting kind of, um, yeah, I feel like one person is getting a little bit, um, I was going to say tired. I don't even know if it's tired, but I think it's coming to the surface that this person is not as experienced and is not as, um, able to keep up with this other person when it comes to relationships as a whole, you know, and, I feel like this relationship has been very healing for both parties, but I feel like the person who is fairly experienced and um, in this uh, energy is needing to, and you could do whatever you want if you're this person, I feel like that is potentially you, but that person who is more expensive has a, is being called to take a look at this connection from a different perspective. Okay, and the different perspective is to allow your person to be more in their energy rather than, and I know that like this is difficult because I feel like the person who is just being themselves and who's experienced in relationships has healed and has done a lot of work on themselves so they're just kind of being themselves but i feel like the perspective here for them is to really put themselves in the position of the other person here and i feel like that's what's lacking but at the same time it will hold back this person and i feel as though that person is not uh in a position to want to hold themselves back nor should they want to so i feel there's a very strong imbalance in this connection but both people are absolutely in love with each other and i feel as though um the love is pure and i feel like both parties know the full potential of this connection could be something absolutely wonderful and great and almost um one of a kind but it's getting there and working towards that that I think is really the challenge because there is this big gap or this big divide. And I do feel as though potentially um, the person who is trying to catch up might just be trying to catch up on the surface. I don't feel like that person is doing the right types of stuff in order to move themselves forward. And so they're getting tired and they're tiring themselves out. Um, because I feel like whatever they're doing is only surface deep. So however they're showing up in this connection is only surface deep. However, they're expressing themselves. However, they're trying to uh, juggle this connection or pleasing, um, the other person is only surface deep. Although the love is true. I feel like the reflection of what they need to do for themselves is not, has not happened yet. So they need to heal in a way. And when I say heal, it's like, um, yeah, I don't even know. This is really weird. I wonder how I can explain this energy. I feel like the true healing needs to happen where the person isn't so focused on how they speak, show up in this connection, but more focused on themselves in a way that allows them to know that it's okay to not have to catch up or keep up with the other person. But I feel there's a fear because the fear is that the divide would be greater or this, yeah, the divide between these two people would be greater and that the person here that I'm getting is this crone type energy person who's more experienced in this connection and who just has this um, strong power and the connection will not want the other person and just kind of eventually move away, um, from this person because the divide would be just so great. Okay. 
So if this kind of sounds like you and your person's energy, then let's take a look at the tarot and uh, see what we see. But so far, um, you know, what is getting in the way? Well, the getting in the way is that one person is seems very much more experienced and the other person seems a little bit more um, reactionary and trying to appease in some sort of way or appear to be somebody that's not quite who they are. Um, but there is genuine love there, okay? So we got the Five of Wands, and I'm not reading any reversals. We got the Moon. Spirit, can we get a clear and concise message as to what's going on with Pile Number Two and their person? What is blocking this connection? Are there any third-party energies? Why is there a block? Why is this not moving forward? What's going on? Thank you so much for the clear and concise message, and thank you so much, Pile Number Two, for allowing me to tap into your energy. All right, so five of wands, moon, three of wands, three of swords, and king of cups. Okay, why is the five of wands here, spirit? Seven of swords, why is the moon here? Oh my goodness. We won't read all these, but we will read the one that flipped. Got the Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Why is the Three of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Wands here? Got the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Three of... Too many. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? What's going on with this Three of Swords? The tower, okay, and yeah, king of cups, king of wands. Okay, so um, tower was totally what I was feeling in that um, beginning part, and here we have the ten of pentacles. Okay, so I think the whole undertone here reflected by this ten of pentacles is the fact that, you're, yeah, I think things are being built on shaky ground, okay, with this tower, because I feel like somebody's showing up in this connection, in this energy of not really being themselves with this shape change, I feel like they're just kind of trying to keep up with the other person in some sort of fashion. But I feel like the tower is going to crumble because there's going to be a need to build this connection to a ten of pentacles and the foundation needs to be solid, okay? Which is going to cause a lot of heartbreak if it hasn't already, okay? Once there's realization around this, this heartbreak. And I feel like um, both people don't want to lose each other here with this um, um, with this five of, of wands. There's like this um, conflict, okay? This is inner conflict, but it's also like wanting to fight for this connection. But there's a lot of, I feel, lying to yourselves in this connection, okay? The moon talks about deception and things not really appearing the way they are. So I feel like there's a battling of truths um, and fighting to keep some sort of lies alive and not facing truths because there's a feeling of lack here with the seven of swords and this five of pentacles that is um, deceiving oneself maybe in believing something to be true in order to not have to suffer the tower and the heartache. And Seven of Swords is definitely someone being, you know, sneaky or deceptive in some sort of way with that coming out as the moon. I feel like what's the deception here is that there is this shaky ground um, that's happening right now and that the inevitable tower is either happened or is around the corner when looking at the true future of this connection, okay? However... Wheel of Fortune does talk about, you know, um, potential destiny or fate um, and things kind of spinning in a different direction. So I feel like it, wherever you resonate in the timeline of this connection, I feel like either things spun in such a way that it revealed towers falling and heartache. And now there's a true clarity of needing to prepare, uh, prepare and plan for future. Okay, and there needs to be um, a serious look at emotions when it comes to King of Cups and desires and how to go after and drive forward with what it is that you guys both want. 
okay? I feel as though, um, I feel as though a lot of you guys might have already experienced this tower moment, and this is kind of capturing past, but I still feel like there's an energy here that's being stuck in this deceptive to self. I don't feel like there's lies in the connection, but I do feel like somebody not showing up in their true self form because they don't want to face this um, realization that maybe they're, the gap between these two people are just way too far apart. Okay. Um, and I think that that's causing this shaky ground. It's not built on something that is honest um, and facing a situation for what it is. And maybe someone's not as, and again, for all of you guys, it could be different with the experience. I just feel like maybe someone's a little bit more immature. Maybe someone doesn't know how to handle relationships or how they're supposed to balance things and show up and be dedicated and when they shouldn't and how they need to, you know, and, and just being themselves, I think is very evident that it, there is a divide here. Okay. Although I don't question that there is love. Um, but I feel like there needs to be more than love here. Yeah. Here's the eight of pentacles. This is working towards this connection. So let's do another layer of these and see what we see. Cause if you're kind of resonating with that, just being what's happened, then we'll see the next layer. Uh, spirit, thank you for that clear and concise message. Can we take a look at pile number two's connection? What's blocking this connection? What's going to happen next from that? Will there be movements? Thank you so much, Spirit. Cut that again. All right. Now we got the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like somebody has to work like really, 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 really hard in this connection and another person does who doesn't have to put effort because they just don't have to. And yeah. Okay, so we see the Six of Cups. Deep love here. The Emperor. The Empress, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? And we got the Seven of Cups. Okay, why is the Six of Cups here? We've got the Queen of Swords. Okay, why is the Emperor here? We've got the Four of Wands. Why is the Empress here? And we've got the Five of Pentacles. And why is the Nine of Pentacles here? We got the Four of Swords and bottom of the deck energy. We got the world. Okay, so the world talks about, you know, a cycle coming to an end. And I feel like maybe the tower falling has allowed for a cycle to come to an end. Uh, or once the tower falls, there'll be some visibility as to maybe how far apart these people may potentially be. The need for coming together. Yeah, see, there's the tower. And then there we have the need to um, work with what we have in front of us in order to balance things out and really put an end to whatever cycle was happening in the past, which was allowing this connection not to move forward because there was that big divide, okay? So um, what I'm seeing here is that somebody's had to really put forward a lot of energy and... Um, now, what Spirit wants me to say is that not necessarily like who's been investing more in moving this connection forward, because I feel like the person who's maybe more experienced might feel as though they've been more invested. But I feel like the person who is not as experienced is feeling this um, tiredness because I feel like you're, this person, I'm saying your person, because maybe I feel like this is your person who's not as experienced or potentially feels as though they, they're putting in energy and they're not quite getting out of it what they want because they're spinning their wheels and maybe they're focused on areas or have been focused on areas that weren't fruitful in this connection, right? So it's like, it's caused a lot of confusion on their part. It's like, well, how am I supposed to be? And now they have more questions and answers. And I have been showing up. And why is my person angry? And why are they keep coming back as this queen of swords? And why do they keep putting boundaries? And why do they keep saying these things that are hurtful? And what are these truths? And I feel like all of this queen of swords energy that I feel you're giving to your person, again, flip the script if it's not you, 
has really put them in the state of, do I just give up then? Am I even like ready to move into this connection? Because I feel like my person is just so smart. And I feel like here I am this, you know, this five of pentacles person who I can't even offer to my princess, this empress lady. Okay. Um, anything. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm feeling your person feels. Now, fact that we have the empress and the emperor this is confirmation you know that you and your person have this um divine counterpart okay and i feel as though this is potentially what is very um indicative of a soul union between two individuals and what i mean by that is i feel like seeing the wheel of fortune and the the divine couple here with this six of cups which talks about soulmates okay i feel like there's this twin flame energy going on right here where there's this two different people from two different ways of understanding this connection who are trying to make things work but there just feels like there's this um this divide okay and the divide i feel is that again the energies are really imbalanced there's a need to step into this temperance energy in order to balance things out and end the cycle of this connection okay i feel like the emperor here is having um an understanding of what this connection means which is why i feel like they haven't just said you know what if i gotta work so hard for this connection and it's not who I'm about, then I'm just going to move on. But I feel this is why this person hasn't moved on. And if this is your person here as the emperor, I feel like your person understands the soulful connection here, what it is you mean to them with the six of cups. Okay. This is like I said, it's, uh, soulmates, it's looking back, um, maybe at a, at a past life that you guys have had together. I just feel like there's a soul recognition here. And I also feel like both parties kind of want stability in this connection in some capacity, but what does that mean? You know, what does that look like? This is coming together, building a solid foundation. And maybe for one, it could mean marriage. Maybe for the other, it could just mean a solid, you know, um, connection. So I think there needs to be an understanding of what this means to lay this foundation. But I feel like um, your person or the person, I guess, who was kind of challenged and struggling still feels like they're in this five of pentacles. Like they're not able to offer this empress anything that's uh worthy and there's a need to um work on self with this nine of pentacles this is somebody who is solid and stable and able to stand in their own power and i feel like in order to do that this person would have to take some time away and heal and work on themselves okay um and even with this emperor this is like standing in their own power of being able to focus on areas that are going to make them independently solid on their own and maybe step out of this energy of um, uh, shape change, okay, and trying to keep up and feeling like they're trying to be someone in a way that maybe is not them. Because I don't feel like they want to lose the Empress here and they feel like, yeah, this tower falling, Wheel of Fortune we're seeing again uh yeah so this is kind of what's stalling out i feel like one person just isn't there yet and possibly needs to work on themselves and you know maybe this is taking a lot of time i think there's um definitely soul recognition in this connection okay and i don't think i mentioned zodiac so queen of swords is gemini libra aquarius okay we also set up some uh, aries and some taurus energy here all right, so let's pull some Oracle as far as energies right now. Comfort, okay. So this is totally giving me Six of Cups uh, vibe. I feel like there is a soul recognition and an understanding. And I feel like there needed to be more of an, a perspective change um, from this crone energy as far as how they're, per, um, how they're perceiving this person because i don't feel like it's it's a lack of not wanting to try it i just feel like this person is not very experienced is all i feel okay so maybe they're showing up in a really not a very good way love oh yeah definitely love here on both sides for sure passion oh my goodness if this isn't twin flame i don't know it's twin flame here and protection Aww. 
yeah and abundance yeah this connection is definitely an oh, caution and i feel this caution definitely sweetness this caution is definitely talking about if that tower because what's happening is one person's not strong enough to keep moving forward at the same momentum unless they work on themselves and have that healing um that's required in order to bring balance temperance also talking about healing so that the right amount of true energy is flowing in this connection it's not somebody trying to catch up or trying to be who they're not or out of their comfort zone in such a way that they feel like giving up or that they're energetically not sure how to move forward and i feel like that could potentially be your person tons of abundance to be had here i feel like that wheel of fortune we were seeing um is definitely talking about this destined connection okay wheel of fortune the emperor the empress the six of cups here the abundance the passion the love comfort the protection and i feel like uh, what Spirit wants me to say is that um, I feel like you guys want to protect each other um, and protect this connection. So I think there's a heavy um, fear here. In, and I know I don't see cards of fear, but I feel like there's a fear here because of this caution that if, you know, um, I don't know, that if maybe this person goes and kind of is able to more focus on themselves and heal themselves, that maybe there would be, um, there would be a parting of some sort of way. And maybe this is why this connection stalled out. Because in order for there to be movement, somebody here has to really do this healing and has to really work on themselves. And that would require maybe stepping away from this connection. But I don't feel like, you know, if you've already experienced this tower moment that you guys have stepped away and if you guys are in a period of no contact, that that's great. But this person's really going to have to kind of up their game in order for there to be movement. And I just feel like one person's just way too ahead. Okay, so that's what I see here blocking this connection. I hope this resonated or made sense. And if you were drawn to another pile, go check that out. And I wanted to thank my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, and I want to give a big, big shout out and thank you so much to my um, OG subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys commenting, subscribing, liking, sharing. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, you can book that through my website. Uh, that will be in the description box below and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys Hello, my beautiful pile number three if you pick the cute little yellow bird then pile number three. This is your reading All right, so I pre shuffled the oracles have not looked at them, but we uh, I just wanted to save time We will be doing tarot as well. And what we're asking spirit is what is blocking this connection? What's getting in the way? Is there third party energy? Okay, not necessarily a third party uh, romantic connection going on on the side, but if there is, we'll see that too. But what is actually getting in the way energetically and uh, yeah, blocking the connection? So let's start with the Oracle. So we got here True Resurrection with this Oracle card, which is absolutely crazy looking. Okay, True Resurrection. Now these readings are coming out quite uh, different than I had expected. Okay, so we got this Oracle card. Interesting. All right. Got the Destroyer. Hmm. Got the Uncreated. We have engineer, ability to give creative energy, a practical expression, talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas, and then the shadow attribute, reliance on me mechanistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. Okay. Uh, I respect the prosperity of others. Mm -hmm. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. The number 43 or the number seven okay we also have the number 23 here which is the number five and i don't know this roman numeral number here but okay and 43 again with sacred space so 43 might be significant it could be someone's age okay um also getting april 3rd for some of you guys or march 4th but sacred space is coming up so let's read this energy now um, this will be blended, so just kind of see if this is resonating for your connection. 
and you could be one energy or the other but i'll try to tap into what's going on here okay so i feel like there's one person here in the connection who is finally starting to see the other person's actions and very protective of their space now okay so that could be, be you or your person so just try to take what resonates but i feel like some person has been really um self-sabotaging in this connection at the expense of the other person okay and i feel like potentially that might be a thing of the past for some of you guys and now you're entering in a new period of time or at least you're transitioning into a new um energy space with this person and if you haven't then i feel like this is coming right around the corner okay because i feel like there has been a huge stagnancy in this connection um because of the fact that um for whatever reason it was stagnant okay and we'll get into blocks but i feel like one person was self uh self-sabotage or at least was overriding their own um maybe desires or whatever it was that they were doing in such a way that push this connection over the edge. I feel like it um, put this connection at risk. And I feel like the other person was able to see that person's true colors. And I feel like one person was justifying these actions as being okay or normal or a part of the process. But now the other person has either um express that it's not okay and in order to move forward they're going to have to respect um certain boundaries and i also feel as though um both parties feel like there is potential in this connection once they step into this new energy in order to grow this connection in a different way that hasn't been happening in the past okay um yeah i feel like whoever it was that was like acting in such a way that was um not helping the connection is now trying to find a way to be more um receptive to the needs of the other person and i feel like there's been new life birth into this connection Okay, but I think you guys potentially have to learn the hard way, or at least are in the process of learning this the hard way. But I do feel like somebody is now uh, more um, calm about expressing what it is that they need and that they've been, that they might have allowed this person to bulldoze them is kind of a word that I was hearing, um, or at least like bully them in such a way that wasn't um, helpful. In moving the connection forward so now there is this understanding and seeing of what this what has happened in this connection and who's done what and being honest and clear about it and there's also um, like I said like um, someone who's protecting um, themselves but also what this connection could mean and where it could go and the only way it's going to move forward is if this other person either shows up steps up in a way that's different than they have in the past and has to kind of come differently and I feel like that is really what's happening here with this true resurrection. I feel like this person has had to shed all of their ways of maybe where they were self-sabotaging or at least um, putting their needs in front of the other person or like just you know, with the destroyer. This is like somebody who is like destructive in some sort of way. Um, yeah. Okay, so if this kind of sounds like your energy, yeah, I'm, you're, I'm feeling Queen of Swords-ish coming out of this card right here, okay? So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what I'm feeling. So maybe a lot of you guys are resonating with that. But let's pull some tarot out to see what's blocking this connection. So Spirit, thank you so much for that clear and concise message. Can we get a clear and concise message here for pile number three regarding what's blocking this connection? Why is this connection blocked? It's our third party energy. What's going on? Just moving forward. Thank you so much, Spirit. And thank you so much, Pile Number Three, for allowing me to tap into your energy. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. All right.
And we have the Page of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. I feel very new, fresh energy here. We have the Star. Why is the Page of Cups here? We have the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Wands here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Cups here? We have the Four of Wands. Why is the Two of Cups here, Spirit? And we have the Four of Pentacles. And why is the Stars here? We have the Eight of Cups. Okay. And bottom of the deck energy, we have the sun wow so yeah there's been a change in this connection i feel like the sun is clarity okay so maybe you're watching this because you were stalled out or maybe you're just entering a period and you're not sure because i feel like maybe you're not sure that your person has really changed here with this true resurrection or the person who is causing all this strife in the connection is actually changing for the better i feel with the sun there's been some realization and some clarity okay i feel like on both your ends okay i feel the clarity on the end of the person who is this owl spirit you see clearly now who's no longer accepting bs is maybe potentially put some boundaries in place or express how they feel so i feel like the other person had to start over again that's representative of this page of cups okay because the page is talking about like you know flirting having feelings of love and stepping in the infancy stage of what it means to step forward with love so there was a need to balance this out in um kind of starting ground up from this point okay and i feel like what spirit is showing me here in this is there is a forward movement with this knight of pentacles although slow going that there is um victory here now okay there's victory here now because there is movement in the right direction person going from a knight of cups now to this or sorry page of cups to this knight of cups okay and a knight of cups is offering this deep love and i feel like it's not only uh emotions here it's also with the four of wands i feel like there's this um recognition in building something that is stable here okay four of wands talks about coming together having unity building a solid foundation marriage coming together it's also my 11 11 card okay so for those of you guys resonating with twin flame could very well uh, represent this as well okay so now the knight of cups is moving forward in order to balance things out with this two of cups things haven't been balanced in the past the two of pentacles there was a need to balance things and move forward right so you see the graduation from the page to a knight moving forward and now we have this two of cups which is two people coming together sharing love and emotions now i feel like this four of pentacles okay fours are talking about the stability that needs to be had but i feel as though um there is some guarded energy and i feel like the guarded energy could very well be coming from the person who is been skeptical uh in the past because i feel like you know one person was showing up kind of shady here um so yeah there's still some guardedness and what spirit is wanting to communicate here is that there is this with the stars this is like wishes coming true and healing um with the stars it it's really talking about what the future potential of this connection could very well be but there's a need to emotionally leave behind all of the pains of the past um in order to kind of not be so guarded here with this four of pentacles to embrace this two of cups and the stars energy okay but i know it's difficult because i guess the i feel like this connection does have a history here okay so what's underneath there we have the five of wands yeah it's like um it's been challenging there's been a lot of conflict okay and even just get moving things in this direction but i feel like if you are experiencing a new beginning in this connection i feel like this is the new beginning that's required okay now let's do another row here and see what we see because maybe you guys already experienced this piece and now you're kind of wanting to see is there progression like what's holding this back Spirit, thank you so much for that. Uh, I don't want to take this. And I'm not even going to look at it. Um, Spirit, can we take a look at pile number three? 
what's going on as far as blocks in this connection? Where are things going from there? Is there third party energy? Is this part person now ready to move in the right direction? What is blocking them? What is blocking this connection? Thank you so much. Here. All right. So yeah, we weren't quite getting what the block was other than the fact that one person was, yeah, showing up as the destroyer and in that sabotaging energy, maybe they were being selfish um, and only looking after what their needs were. But I feel like there's been a shift for sure. Okay. So let's take a look at what we see here, Spirit. Thank you so much. We see, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. We see the Queen of Swords coming out. I knew I'd see the Queen of Swords coming out. Did I not say the Queen of Swords? All right. So you guys are showing up as this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. But you could be definitely be resonating with the person who is self-sabotaging. Queen of Cups. That's still you because I feel like all you want to do was provide love and emotions and caring to your person. Okay. So this is Queen of Cups energy that I feel like you're going to need to embrace here if you're wanting things to kind of move forward now. But I feel like you guys have had to embrace this, which look at her face. Like she's just had enough. Okay. She's not even holding her sword up. She's just like, yeah, I had enough. So maybe you're transitioning now from holding swords up to seeing if you can release, um, Drop your guard in order to go back to your emotions. I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is talking about end cycles, okay? And I feel like things are turning in a better direction. So I am getting more positive um, Queen of Swords transitioning into this Queen of Cups because I feel like maybe you're trusting your person and maybe this is kind of the last game for them to show up and you're kind of wanting to see where this goes. But I do feel like you are kind of, you still have your hand on the sword in case you need to put it up again. But um, that was that Four of Pentacles where I still feel like we're, need, we're in that Eight of Cups. We're needing to really emotionally walk away from any anger, resentments, or how this person showed up in order to accept them with this Queen of Cups energy. Okay, there's that Ace of Cups. So, And when we see an Ace of Cups, it's an emotional new beginning. Okay, that's starting from the beginning. That's not carrying any baggage or holding any grudges. That's like starting anew. So I feel like this is more talking about your energy now, what Spirit wants to say. Okay, Seven of Pentacles here is putting in actual energy and effort in order to reap the rewards. And I feel the reward here is this emotional new beginning. I'm not going to pull any of those, Spirit. Can we get a clear and concise message for pile number three? Thank you very much. Nine of Cups. Yeah, that's your emotional fulfillment. Okay, that's your own emotional fulfillment here. So that's what you want out of this connection. Now, you just want to be emotionally fulfilled for yourself. And I feel like that Ten of, uh, that's, that Wheel of Fortune is definitely reflective of, you know, that cycle coming to an end in order for you to move forward and get what's emotionally going to fulfill you in this connection. That's why you had to be Queen of Swords. Here's the Knight of Swords, okay? The Knight of Swords is going to fight for what it is that's true and not back down from a challenge. And I feel like that's still your energy here. Five of Wands. And you've been conflicted, you know, uh, mentally conflicted and how to present yourself as this Queen of Cups now. Maybe you've been, you know, really shot down by this person emotionally. It's like, do I embrace this Queen of Cups again? How do I get to my Ace of Cups? Here's the Five of Swords. Okay, yeah. Lots of challenge. You're unable to... Not that you're unable, but you're having a hard time and you're conflicted and how it is you're going to move forward with all this challenge that you've had to face with this person in order for you to even put in energy and effort again to start an emotional new beginning with this person. Okay, to turn things in a way that's going to change the course of this direction or change the direction of this connection. Queen of Pentacles, I feel that's you as well. Wow, you're coming up with all these queens. Queen of Pentacles is this, you know, um, solid, stable, reliable person. Like, you don't want to be investing no Seven of Pentacles um, and get nothing out of your, um, your investment. Like, you're solid on your own, right? So why would you go spending time doing Seven of Pentacles if you're already able to just embrace your own Queen of Pentacles here? And it's really about... Being honest with your emotions and how you can start an emotional new beginning with this person and drop your sword, 
here we have the emperor okay so i feel like your person is going to have to show up as this emperor now when i'm asked why this connection's blocked uh i feel you're blocking this connection right now okay um i don't blame you because i feel there's a history here your person might have five of sorted you in some way they did things that made you uh question them okay you've had to be all sorts of queens here I think you're recognizing you're a queen of pentacles. You're solid on your own. You don't need this BS, but you do love them. And I feel you want an emotional new beginning and you just need them to show up as this emperor here. And I think spirit is saying that this person is wanting, uh, wanting this. And I feel like there is this new beginning because I feel like the tarot we were seeing with the first row is your person's energy, which I felt was genuine. But maybe I feel like you're still guarded here and it's stopping this connection from actually moving forward because I feel your person may sense you being blocked or guarded. Even though I think they understand, it's going to it's gonna not allow you guys to move forward in a way that maybe you guys should. Okay, justice. This is bringing balance back into the connection. Six of Cups. It's talking about reconciliation for some of you guys coming back together. So now this is like, you know, coming back together and to make things work. And this person's going to have to show up as a divine masculine. Six of Cups is also uh, nostalgic uh, memories of the past, okay, thinking of things in the past, and maybe we're thinking about how things were, and it's not allowing us to open up uh, in such a way. We're kind of guarded as Queen of Swords, slowly dropping our sword, uh, because we're conflicted about past energies, past situations, challenges that we had to face in order to get your full nine of cups which is your own emotional fulfillment never mind this person you just want to be emotionally fulfilled okay that's how i'm feeling right now and maybe this is what also is a challenge now instead of seeing a ten of cups with this person it's like you just want to be emotionally fulfilled within yourself but i mean it's going to require um you know two people want a ten of cups if one person's more focused on their own emotional fulfillment then um there could be a breakdown right but i do feel like maybe you're trying to find a way to do that because you have had to focus on your own emotional fulfillment because this person was not showing up and they weren't showing up so you held back emotions and feelings and this emotional new beginning is going to have to be considered in order for you to move forward with this person let's take a look at some oracle cards and see some more about this connection spirit thank you so we got happiness. I feel like this Nine of Cups is talking about you finding your own happiness, okay? Uh, aside from what you have been faced with or challenged with with this person. Strength, yeah, it talks about you definitely having strength and adversity in this connection, pulling through when maybe this person is really challenging. When you've had to experience this Five of Swords and this Five of Wands and you've had to be kind of a uh, Knight of Swords. Hunger. I feel there's definitely still a desire. I'm also feeling masculine and feminine with this. Okay, it's kind of giving me more, um, yeah, like wands. And this is kind of more uh, pentacles. But like, you know, male and female is what I'm kind of getting from here. And I do feel like there is a desire and a passion for your person still. So I do feel like you are still wanting things to move forward. Um, I mean, clearly, if you're here watching this connection, then you do death so this is definitely talking about that end um mindset one i feel like yes if you're looking for confirmation if things have changed from the past there's been definitely a death with your person in regards to that energy that they were showing up in but i feel like this is more a warning if you will from spirit to you as to allow yourself to be back into this queen of cups without feeling like you have to embrace this queen of swords at any moment your person excuse me, your person might uh, all of a sudden do something that's going to sabotage flow. Yeah, and let things kind of just flow naturally now. I think you're try you're really kind of guarding and trying to control it. Abundance, yeah. Definitely abundance to be had here in this connection. I think that you know it too, but maybe you're just guarded and, you know, fool me once, uh, fool me twice type energy. And maybe this is like a make or break situation and you're kind of guarded. But if you're guarded, this will prevent things from moving. And so what's blocking it? I think it's your um, inability to trust now that your person has actually dropped some sort of unhealthy, toxic way. And to trust that the wheel is spinning in your favor. And I feel like there is desire to make things work. And um, take this as confirmation that spirit says your person is, um, you know, embracing their emperor, um, divine masculine energy. 
Now you can flip the two energies. Like I said, this didn't have to be completely you. Um, you could be taking the role of the other person. But anyway, this is what I see here for pile number three. Thank you so much. I enjoyed this reading. If you were drawn to any of the other two piles, feel free to join me there. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.